US crackdown targets China's quantum computing navigation tech. Fresh additions to entity list threatens China's tech ambitions. Quantum computing companies, memory chip makers, and suppliers of navigation chips are among the Chinese businesses hit by the latest US blacklisting action, in a sign that Beijing's tech ambitions remain in Washington's crosshairs as tensions between the two countries rise. The US Commerce Department added eight Chinese companies and state-backed research organizations to its so-called entity list, which restricts their access to American technologies, citing national security concerns. Among them are Quantum SeaTech, which went public on China's star market last year, and its subsidiary Shanghai Quantum SeaTech. Quantum SeaTech bills itself as a Chinese pioneer in the quantum computing field and leader in its commercialization. The company recently signed an agreement with iFlyTech, China's top provider of artificial intelligence-powered voice recognition technology to jointly explore the introduction of quantum computing technologies into AI products. iFlyTech is also blacklisted by the United States. Another company added to the list is Hunan Gok Microelectronics, which is headquartered in Gangsha and listed on the Shenzhen Stock Exchange. Gok Microelectronics is one of the key Chinese chip developers offering storage controller chips, video chips for surveillance cameras, and GPS chips for navigation and positioning use. Gok designs chips, but it needs production partners such as China's top contract chip maker, Semiconductor Manufacturing International Co., which is also blacklisted by the United States to help manufacture its chipsets. Gok had previously said in a stock market filing that any restrictions on its ability to purchase equipment, software or tools could slow its technology development. Hangzhou Zhongke Microelectronics, founded in 2004, is another well-known satellite navigation and radio frequency chip provider. Its products include a setup box that uses the Beidou navigation satellite system, China's answer to GPS. Also added to the list is new H3C Semiconductor Technologies, a subsidiary of the Tsinghua Unigroup that provides memory chips, a crucial component for electronics products. In public statements, several of the companies played down the impact of the United States move. Gok said recently that it is actively responding to the situation and will continue monitoring its development. Quantum SeaTech said the impact of being added to the entity list is manageable, as the company owns its own core technologies and has prioritized in-house development and local sourcing. Unisplendor, the parent company of the new H3C, said it is reviewing the Commerce Department's decision why its subsidiary was placed on the list. All three companies said they do not foresee any immediate impact on their operations or financial performance. The latest US move against Chinese companies comes amid increasing tensions between Washington and Beijing, despite United States President Biden and Chinese President Xi Jinping holding video talks. The US Commerce Department said the action is to prevent United States technologies from being used for China's quantum computing efforts that could be used in military applications, such as counter-stealth and counter-submarine applications and the ability to break encryption or develop unbreakable encryption. The United States said it was surprised and concerned about China's tests of nuclear-capable hypersonic missiles over the summer. The latest blacklisting of companies could slow China's ambition to build a controllable, secure and self-reliant supply chain. Jeff Pu, a tech analyst with high tone international security, is told. The blacklisting move also shows that tension between the United States and China continue to rise. Many Chinese companies still rely on US technologies, including design tools and equipment, as well as intellectual properties to develop chips and other technologies.